McCarthy is here just in time for a steamy day. How are you? <laughs> Good. How are you? Great. Um, we're talking about summer snacks that you can do in a really healthy way. Yeah, so here's the thing I noticed when I went grocery shopping. I had to do my research, yep. and when I was looking at most popsicles and ice cream out there, the number one ingredient is always the dreaded sugar. Yeah. So there's so much refined sugar, but what wor is worse than that is all the food coloring, all the yeah, artificial yeah, flavors. Yeah, yeah. Which, haven't they shown that for kids, like some food coloring affects their behavior? Exactly, can yeah. promote symptoms like ADD, and uh, sugar we know can make kids a little crazy and mm -hmm. cranky and irritated. So I thought, you know what, there are so m you can make so many treats with such simple, minimal ingredients right. with no sugar. So what do so we I have here? So I wanted to here? show a few options. So this I consider, so that is chocolate banana almond butter ice cream so it's oh. like it's like a soft serve there is no sugar in it whatsoever of course you have the natural sweetness from the banana but and all you have to have do is pop all those I know we need you we'll get you a spoon yeah. pop all three ingredients in like a little food processor like this or a little blender and you enjoy it right away so that I would definitely eat immediately because it tastes so good and then of course I did it with blueberries as well so blueberries uh, coconut milk and banana is that mm -hmm. one there? Banana, you all, if you freeze a banana, it gives you that nice natural sweetness. I'm sticking my it's, finger in this because <laughs> I just so can't good. even. Uh, and so easy to make. Good. And you could do it with other nut butters as well. You know, if you if your kids don't have sensitivities to peanuts, of course you could use organic, good quality, and that's tasty. natural peanut butter. Yeah, so good. Uh, and then of course I wanted to show an, a, you know a different kick on healthy teas. Uh, so we all love iced tea, but iced tea can have as much sugar as a can of Coke which is way too much sugar, terrible for your teeth, your mood, everything. So I have these teas here. This is my favorite one. It's the, the Honest Leaf. This is actually a local company. Oh, uh, it's a nutritionist it. here in Toronto. And uh, the best thing about her teas is it's called the Honest Leaf, but I love the fact that she literally lists out every single ingredient that's in the tea. Because yeah. a lot of people think, oh, they get on this health kick. They're like, I'm not going to drink coffee anymore. I'm going to have tea. But then they're drinking all these different fancy teas that have like so many different artificial ingredients and it's really not healthy. Yep. So this is a great option. Where and do you this get her stuff? Here, uh, any uh, grocery stores, they have it at Whole Foods, uh, okay. McEwen's, like different uh, stores all throughout the city. You can buy it online too. Okay. But this one here is uh, rooibos, so it's caffeine free and it has ginger, lemongrass. So I actually didn't add any sweetener to that at all. But you could add some honey, you could add some stevia if you like it more sweet. I just don't think mm. it needs it. And then, uh, we'll just move this back here so you can see my amazing popsicles that I were... Saw, were you Instagramming about this too? Yes, I was. Yeah. So popsicles, you know what? Not only do they taste good, but they're so much fun to get kids involved to make. Yeah. These are so easy. You barely even have to measure. So this one is uh, pineapple. So basically, that's chunks of pineapple. Uh, you, you just throw the pineapple in a little food processor or blender with some coconut milk. Blend. That's it. And really? freeze it. It's that easy. Okay. And I used, uh, I put a little bit of coconut flakes as well. This one tastes like strawberry shortcake. So uh, I use strawberries, coconut milk, pineapple at the bottom. This one tastes like a key lime pie. That's the one I'm going to quickly show you how to make. And uh, that's just a strawberry one. So the base is always uh, coconut milk because okay. it gives that richness. And the big difference is that you see a lot of popsicles, but they're just made with fruit juice. So high in sugar. Yeah. And the other thing, I used to hate when I was a kid eating, when you're sucking on a popsicle and you suck all the juice out and then you're just left with the ice. ice. <laughs> I know, exactly. So, I want, so when you do coconut coconut milk and plus so many kids are sensitive to dairy. So I'll show you how easy this is to make. So I have my coconut milk here, just toss this yep. in my food processor. Yep. I have uh, my fresh lime juice because we okay. want it to taste like a key lime pie. Yeah. And then uh, we have our avocado. avocado. So the avocado gives it some nice fat, Maybe. nice nice texture. Uh, we'll put in, we'll sprinkle in some uh, coconut flakes and a little bit of honey, although... I'm putting it to the test, Joyous. <laughs> Let's see. It's really yummy. You probably have to, they're still pretty hard. What do you think? Oh, it's, it's great. They're really it's got yummy. a real tang to it with the, yeah, the uh, I lime. Yeah, I put in lots of lime. Okay, mm. so all you do, toss all your ingredients in like that, super simple. <laughs> Turn it on. Oh, wow. And then you pour it um, into your little popsicle molds. This thing I discovered, um, my husband's cousin gave him this, and I thought it was the coolest thing. We're like, how the heck do we use this? So you stick this in the freezer uh, over 24 hours, and it makes your popsicles in seven minutes. 
So you literally pour, so this oh. has been in the freezer. You pour the popsicle in here, yeah. and then because it's so cold, it freezes it really quickly. So that's so the ones with the little white um, bottom, we so we, uh, we use that. Going back and yeah, so it's great for out. exactly. It's great for kids if you you know kids want their popsicles immediately. Whereas these ones and the one you're eating with the popsicle stick, we just made them in the mold. So this that's like overnight. Is super tasty. It's yummy, eh? And you could have put in the matcha as well. Yes. Yeah, so uh, this is a recipe. This one here with the the matcha is a recipe I have in my book, and it that's I had that one over the weekend, and the popsicle tastes like green tea ice cream. Mm. So, you know, some people love it or they hate it. Yeah. I love the taste of green tea ice cream. So this exact recipe, minus the lime, you add some matcha, and it tastes like it's like a green tea popsicle. Brilliant. And so it is kind of liquidy. Yeah, exactly. It's liquidy. So then you just pour it into the popsicle molds, and you're good to go. No sugar, no artificial coloring, uh, no, you know, no junk whatsoever. It's so simple. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Joy McCarthy, holistic nutritionist. Always good to see you. Good to now see we're going to use that spoon to finish that chocolate. So. <laughs>